Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is a very important video if you are a new US citizen and you want to move to Europe. But even if you are not a new US citizen, if you are Canadian, South African, if you are from Australia, or even if you are from the UK, since the UK is no longer a member of the European Union. In this video, we're going to talk about the best countries to immigrate if you are a new US citizen and you want to move to Europe. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about the criteria I used to make this video, including which countries offer the best solutions in terms of residence permits for Americans, taxes, cost of living, and many other important factors that will make your life as an American easier in Europe. Then we're gonna go through the list of the best countries to immigrate, to move, to work, if you are an American and you want to live in Europe. And as always, before we start, if you want to travel, move, or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, and most importantly, subscribe! Let's start! So, before you consider moving to Europe, there are a number of factors you should consider analyzing before you choose a country. Everybody knows that Europe is famous for its history, quality of life, and cuisine. But the truth is, depending on the country you are going to move to, there are a number of important differences when it comes to taxes, residence permits, level of bureaucracy, and the cost of living. Let's talk a little bit about them. The first thing you should consider is how easy will it be to get a residence permit in the country you are planning to move to? This depends on the activity you want to do in Europe and the current immigration laws of a given country. So, for example, if you want to be a self-employed person in an European country, some countries in Europe have categories of residence permits for self-employed persons and other countries do not have this type of residence permit. The same applies to retirees or if you want to be an investor or if you want to open a company. So it really depends on what you want to do in the given country and what the current laws are. The next factor you should consider are taxes. Income taxes vary greatly depending on the country you're considering to move to in Europe. And while many countries in Europe do have bilateral agreements with the US to avoid double taxation, many others do not have any kind of agreement. This is also something you should definitely consider. And another important factor is the cost of living. This varies greatly, not only on a country-to-country -country level, but also in different parts of the same country. So, without further ado, let's start with the list. The first country is Portugal. I often talk about Portugal on the channel and it is easy to understand why. Portugal is one of the easiest countries in the European Union to immigrate if you are a US citizen. There are multiple classes of residence permits for Americans who want to reside in Portugal, including permits for retirees, permits if you want to open a company, if you want to be a self-employed person, and it is also not difficult to get a work permit if you want to just get a job in Portugal. The second advantage of Portugal is its relatively low cost of living. Even if Portugal got very popular in the last few years, the cost of living in the country is relatively low, unless you want to live in Lisbon, where property prices are currently detached from the reality of the Portuguese economy. Then, there are many direct and relatively short flights to the east coast of the US from Portugal. From New York to Lisbon, it is just a 6-7 to seven hour flight. And finally, if you live in Portugal for 5 years, you can apply for a permanent residency, and after one year with your permanent residence card, you can apply for citizenship. Portugal allows dual citizenship. The next country is the Czech Republic, often referred as Czechia. Currently, the Czech Republic is one of the fastest growing countries in Europe. Its capital Prague is one of the most visited cities in the world. Despite its location right in the center of Europe, the Czech Republic still remains relatively affordable, especially when compared to its neighbors Germany and Austria. Most people have a good command of English in Czech Republic, a fact that can certainly make your life easier in the Czech Republic when you are just landed and still didn't have time to learn the language. A huge advantage in the Czech Republic for Americans is you can get a residence permit in the country relatively easily. This applies to self-employed persons or freelancers, if you are a software developer, for example, or if you are an English teacher, and also if you want to run business in the Czech Republic. Finally, Czechia offers some of the lowest tax rates in all of Europe. In many cases, you can live in the Czech Republic and pay a flat tax rate of 15% of your income. Let's move to the next country, which is Spain. Spain is one of the most visited countries in the world, and it is easy to understand why. It offers a high quality of life and one of the best healthcare in the world. It has a better climate than most countries in Western Europe, significantly lower cost of living than most cities in the US, and a number of residence permits that Americans are eligible to apply to live in Spain. 
Among the options Americans can export to live in Spain are the non-lucrative visa, if you have an income from abroad, from a pension, or if you have some company abroad and you have and you receive dividends, or if you have stocks or you work remotely, then there is also a visa for retirees, and then you can also get a residence permit if you want to run a business in Spain. And then of course there's also the Spanish Golden Visa. You can watch the video I made about moving to Spain if you want more details on that. Spanish is also a relatively easy language to learn and highly useful even if you ever return to the US. One of the main disadvantages of Spain is its high taxes, like most Western European countries. Spain also has pretty high taxes at a personal level and also at a corporate level. The next country is the Netherlands. The Netherlands is one of the most developed countries in the world. Americans can enjoy the Dutch-American Friendship Treaty, which allows US citizens to be a freelancer or to run business in the Netherlands without having to hire anyone, and it also doesn't involve any very complex requirements. The Netherlands also has a high prevalence of English speakers. If you want to live in Amsterdam, for example, and you don't want to learn Dutch, you can just live there with English forever. However, I highly recommend you learning the local language wherever country you are going to move to. Finally, the country has an excellent location in Europe, just a short train ride from places like Brussels, Paris, Germany and Luxembourg. From the Amsterdam airport, there are also direct flights to many cities in the US and Canada. The next country is Germany. Germany is right in the center of Europe. It has one of the best healthcare systems in the world, which is also pretty inexpensive if you work in the country. It also has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the continent, and Germany, as a matter of fact, has a much more flexible work legislation than countries like France or Italy. Americans can come to Germany and become a self-employed, but this doesn't apply to all professions. You can come as a tourist and then arrange your self-employed residence permit while you are already in Germany, which is a very significant advantage, especially when we are talking about Western European countries, that require you to apply for a visa beforehand while you are in the US in most cases. Then Germany also has a high demand for IT professionals. So if you are a developer, you can come to Germany and it will not be hard to find a job, but IT salaries and general salaries tend to be lower in Germany than in the US. Germany is also a great place if you want to study and get a degree. Tuition fees are much lower in Germany than in the US, even if you are a US citizen. The next country is Hungary. Hungary has a cost of living much lower than the US, Canada and most Western European countries. Budapest is the capital of Hungary and is one of the most beautiful and well-connected cities in Central Europe. Hungary does offer easy residence permits if you want to run a business, be a self-employed person, or work for a Hungarian company if you are a US citizen. Even if you are not a US citizen, Hungary has one of the most flexible residence permit policies in the European Union. The next country is Montenegro. If you want to live on the seaside in Europe, consider Montenegro. Montenegro is a beautiful place on the coast of the Adriatic Sea, with prices that are oftentimes just a fraction of what you would find in other countries in the region like Croatia or Italy. It is extremely easy to get a residence permit through real estate or by opening a company in Montenegro. So if you are a self-employed person, if you are a freelancer, or if you want to open a small hotel or restaurant, Montenegro is definitely an option you should consider. Montenegro has low taxes. It currently uses a flat tax system at 9%, which is great for investors and also if you want to retire in the country. However, Montenegro is a pretty small country, which has its disadvantages. It might be a bit boring in winter especially, has a low population and it is highly dependent on tourism. The next country is in the Caucasus region. We are talking about Georgia. Georgia is an up and coming place among expats, especially for its low cost of living and flexible immigration laws. If you are a US citizen, you can stay up to one year on a tourist visa in Georgia. You can just come to the country and stay one year. This is especially good if you are a digital nomad, for example, or if you are working remotely for a US company. Despite its growing popularity, it still has a pretty inexpensive real estate market. Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, offers some of the best property prices in all of Europe, especially when we are talking about city centers of European capitals. As I said before, Georgia has a pretty flexible immigration law, so there are a number of possibilities to acquire a residence permit if you are a US citizen and you want to live in Georgia. Some of them are through real estate investment, if you are a freelancer and you want to be a self-employed person in Georgia, or opening a company in Georgia. Georgia also has pretty low income taxes, especially when compared to Western European countries. The level of bureaucracy in Georgia is also pretty low and the country ranks well every year on the ease of doing business country list by the World Bank. 
The next country is Italy. As you probably know, Italy is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Famous for its history and cuisine, it has one of the most privileged locations in Europe, just a hop from countries like Switzerland, France and Monaco. Italy also offers various visa and residence permit categories, in which Americans can become eligible, if they meet the requirements. There are options for self-employed persons, running a business, retirement or if you have a passive income. Italy also has some of the best climates in Europe. It is especially a good option if you want to live in Western Europe but you don't like cold winters. There are two important disadvantages in Italy. The first one is the low prevalence of English speakers. Although the younger generation is changing that, in smaller towns it will be often difficult to communicate if you don't speak Italian. And then Italy is also notorious for its high taxes just like most Western European countries, including France or Sweden or Norway or Austria or many others. Finally, we come to the last country of our list, which is Greece. Greece has a lower cost of living than most Western European countries, yet it is a full EU and Schengen Treaty member. It has some of the best climates in all of Europe, just like Italy. It is especially a good choice if you want to spend winters, which are rarely cold in all parts of Greece. Just like Italy, Greece has a number of residence permit options for Americans. You can move to Greece if you are a self-employed person, an entrepreneur, if you want to invest in real estate through its golden visa program and also if you are a retiree. Greece also has high taxes just like Italy and Spain, but it has a low tax regime on foreign pensions. Currently, the rate is just 7%. Finally, it is one of the most affordable places to buy real estate on the Mediterranean coast in the European Union. So you can combine all the advantages of Greece if you are for example a retiree and you want to invest in real estate. Greece is one of the best options. That's it for today's list. I hope you have enjoyed it. If there is any other country you would like to see in this list, please write a comment in the comment section below. And if you want me to do a video about a specific topic, please use the comment section. And if you have any question or you want to give me any suggestion, please also use the comment section below. And as always, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, check our other videos, hit the like button and most importantly, subscribe. See you next time.